Welcome to Loops in Assembly Language for Beginners. In this video, we will be using assembly program to see how we can use a while loop to compare num1 with num2 and increment num1 by 1 as long as num1 is less than num2. Same as usual, since we're dealing with two variables, then we need to declare our variables. Um, so here is the declaration of our variables. num1 is a D word and is assigned with value 2. And num2 is also a D word and it's assigned with value 5. Here I set a test value to see what happens when num1 is no longer less than num2. And I have set it with the value 8. In other words, if my num1 becomes greater than num2, then 8 should be moved to EAX register. Moving on here is where the program instructions start. First, we need to move both num1 and num2 to EAX and EBX respectively. And this is the structure of our loop. We need to start with the word top, colon. And then here we are comparing EAX, which is number one, with num1, with EBX, which is variable num2. JAE will jump to next if the condition is false. Otherwise, we will increment EAX, which holds num1. And as long as EAX is less than EBX, we will jump to top of the loop and we continue. Let's run this program and use the breakpoint to step through every instruction to see what would be in our registers. Okay, so I used F11 uh, to step through the program and see what happens in the registers. So let's take a look at it. Right over here, uh, let me move this over here and then step through it from here. So um, we're going to start with moving number one to EAX. So we moved it and now we have number two in EAX and that's correct because this is what we assigned to number, num, num one. And now let's move to num two, variable num two. And now we should be able to see EBX to have value five. And there it is, EBX now has value five. So now we're going to our loop. We're going to be comparing num1 with num2, which is A, EAX and EBX. And in comparing this, since 2 is less than 5, we should be able to skip this line and increment our EAX by 1. And now let's see if that happens. So we're going to do one more. And we don't need to do that yet. So we're going to start incrementing EAX and now our EAX is 3. Now we're going to jump back to the top because 3 is still less than 5. So we're going to go through it one more time. We're going to compare EAX with EBX and we're going to increment so now EAX is 4. We're going to jump to the top of the loop. We're going to go through it one more time. Now EAX is 5. Now 5 is equal to 5. 5 is not less than 5, so look what happens. It's going to jump to the test value, and our EAX should print 8. So we're going to go through it again, and now we have 8. Which was our test value and was meant to signal when our loop condition didn't hold true. Up next, let's look at how to write the following for loop in assembly language. 